Now, while countries have been borrowing record amounts on the markets, investors have been clamouring to buy their bonds. Here in France, these debt auctions are run by the government's Treasury Management Agency. So, how do they work? Catherine Viette explains. On the top floor of France's finance ministry is the country's Treasury Agency. France's government debt is managed by this man. Every week, Antony Roquin raises the money the French state needs to keep running. Today, he's going to borrow 6.2 billion euros. The debt auction will take just 20 minutes. These government traders are evaluating bids from 15 French and international banks. In less than 20 minutes, they have offers worth over 24 billion euros. That's four times the amount they're seeking. Investors are rushing to lend money to France. People are sure that if they own this asset and wish to resell it, we will offer them a very good price. With less than 10 minutes to decide, tensions are high. The slightest mistake could see France lose millions of euros. The selection criteria is very simple. We will choose the best offer, the lowest rate for the best deal for the French taxpayer. 20 minutes later, it's done. France will borrow the money it needs at a negative interest rate of 0.6%. On the 6.2 billion euros being lent, the investor is set to lose 18 million euros. But France is considered a safe bet because it's guaranteed the money will be paid back. Investors give us their money for a year, and we charge them rent for keeping it in our safe, which is the negative interest rate. But when interest rates rise again, borrowing will get more expensive for the French government, which could cause problems down the line. France is expecting to borrow some 260 billion euros on the markets in 2024.